The Batista is now reality, no longer in the concept stage, no longer just on paper, and certainly no longer just in conversation. But speaking of conversations, the man who's kind of helped bring all of this to life, Michael Peshke, joins me in the cockpit of the car, which makes it more special, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Long time no see, Seth. <laughs> not, not, not as long as you know, I would have feared, I think, if yeah. I had missed you today. But uh, because I think you would have stopped talking to me then. Yeah. But, uh, but no, on, on a serious note, how special is this as a moment? Because, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about this, we've had private conversations about it, but sitting in here just makes it all the more special and different and believable. Absolutely. I think it's an amazing moment. When I opened yesterday our customer dinner, opening uh, private unveiling here on the back of Geneva Motor Show, I think going on stage and thinking back, we left Mumbai, I think on 17 of February, from the CSI board, the Strategic Investment Board of Mahindra, and getting a sanctioning for the investment, which is a big leap of faith for my shareholder. I mean, this is very different than to the normal cars they're doing. Uh, at that time, we, I had like three, four, five people in the team. We had a few PowerPoint charts, some Excel spreadsheets, business cases, some sketching, a little bit of a validation of our school of thought and say there's a market for EV hypercars. Has it been proven? No. I think the only proof is eight C1s from Remats as a maximum proof of there's a market. And we left with that leap of faith from my shareholders. Being back in Geneva 12 months later, putting that on stage was amazing. Isn't that the remarkable part of it? And maybe because we're talking about EV hypercar and not just hypercar, um, maybe people will say it becomes therefore a little easier to do it in quicker time. But, but we know that's not easy. It's never easy. So. Um, so, was it important to do it in a short time as well, you think? I think it Not was... Not to miss the opportunity? Yeah, exactly. I think there are mul multiple elements. Uh, we are in a market, and we are probably in a slightly overheated hypercar market. We have still globally economy doing well. See here and there are some signs. Might not go as smooth for the next 24 or 36 months. But a lot of hypercar projects are announced. I personally think some of them will not make it. Some of them might make it, but if there's a recession, might be critical. Why we think we are much more future-proof than anybody else is, if in 2023 you want to drive downtown with your hypercar, zero emission is going to stay on board. Um, ubiquitous consumption might go out of, out of its current boom phase. We want it to be first, because it's like everywhere. You go to the Olympics, whom you remember? The gold medalist. So we have a unique opportunity to be there with a partner. We have multiple partners, battery pack drive trainers together with Rematz, Mahindra Racing, which you know well, with Dilbach and the team, Pascal, Jerome, Nick Heidfeld. We have partners now on board Pirelli. They came on board, they're excited to be part of the first electric hypercar. We have Brembo brakes. And we have a few more. We have people actually start calling us. I, I get now, I think my mailbox run full since yesterday. <laughs> so we are in a partnering model. We want to be fast. We want to be asset light, asset right. I have a very foresightful uh, shareholder with Mahindra who's given us this leap of faith. And we have recruited great talents. So people who have done that, uh, since Friday I have Rene Christopher Wallman on team uh, on board. He till first day ran the project one project for AMG. So we're trying to put together. If I would be Marvel Studios, I would call it the superheroes. This is the Avengers coming together. All right. Avengers, so yes. um, so tell me this then. I mean, this is a fickle question perhaps, but um, one that undoubtedly gets asked, especially once you have shown the car. You know, who are these buyers? How many of these will you make? What happens from here? What, you know, will there be the next model already? Where do we go? Yeah, well, when we designed this script for this car, it was beauty, 89 years of design competences, Cisitalia, Modulo, Dino, beauty, purity, purity of design, but purity of emissions, and rarity. And people who buy into this kind of cars expect a very high likelihood that this investment is a good investment. They're not just buying a car, it's keeping value or being unique and maybe even going up. It's a work of art, right? It's a work of art, yeah. If you put purity and beauty together and you add the art, it becomes rarity. 
It's uh, like the Mona Lisa, like a Pablo Picasso. So I think we have now a cooking recipe together, like a one-star Michelin chef. The ingredients are out there, but not everybody becomes a one-star chef. And I think what we're putting together is this art, and we think with 150 of those, plus, imagine we both go downtown Geneva tonight, and you, you meet Andy Warhol. And you know he's been painting for others on the backside of the canvas for 89 years. And his, his paintings are all over the world in museums. And he said, tonight, I put for the first time my signature on the front of a canvas. How likely it is it's going to be successful again? And that's, I think, what we believe. We have a winning proposition. We are one of the first in that segment. We have a beautiful, beautiful car. You don't need to judge, but maybe you have a little contest running with your readers. We think what we have is the Japanese brought us hybrid technology and we start accepting it. I think one of your colleagues once wrote, Toyota is like a white fridge. It functions, but it's not emotional. That's what the Prius for me is. It's a great car, but it ends up more and more as a, as a taxi car. We see more and more cars here where probably tonight you do like, 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 like. We want you tonight to say, I love it. Automobile Pinifrena made people love EVs. The passion shows. I think it, it comes through in every element of the car, not just design, but everything else as well. Um, so, so yeah, last thing I, I have to ask, what's next after this? Because obviously people al already want the second model. Yeah, I mean, the star is Batista. But, of course, uh, the board sanctioned three to four cars, including this one. The second car is probably going to be somewhere between a Lamborghini Urus and a Ferrari GTC for Luso All Road. A super spectacular sport activity vehicle, which is probably closer to a sports car than to an SUV. It's going to have four, four seats, maybe five people can fit in, but it should be super functional, super emotional, super design wise. There's a stand not far away from here, but it's shown a few things. I think we can do even better because if we can do this one, imagine we make it a little bit higher, a little bit longer, but yet super super exciting and I think we we have to do justice to this brand we don't want to be a one-hit wonder we want to make sure this brand in 2020 30, 2030 is perceived as this was the first car brand which makes even sexy likable crazy performance easy to drive and just an object of desire and, uh, and that's what drives us to your list of supers, I was going to say super sexy, and then you said it anyway, so thank yes. you. Socially not co totally correct, but <laughs> nevertheless, we car guys, I think, once in a while are allowed to use that. I think so, I think so. No, yeah. but this is exciting. Can't wait to see one on the road, and thank you. Thank you. Many, I'm, many congratulations. Yes, and please stay tuned. I still have a lot of friends in India, as I see from my social handles, so, you know, India is still very dear to me, and one day, maybe one of these ends up in India, at least Anand has given me a verbal commitment. One has to go into his collection anyway. Can't wait to see it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Take care.